back with a fresh new hairstyle too. This is brand new. Um, taking a little bit of a hiatus from these vlogs and um, need to get my shit together a bit. You know, I think, uh, you know, the fact that I have three kids and trying to just hold life down in general, um, you know, started to get a little too, um, I guess the thought of coming to edit video and keep shooting video is a little overwhelming. So I've decided that I'm gonna keep it simple and not overcomplicate things. It's to send a message. That was my intention from the beginning and I'm gonna stick with it. So I am a mother of three boys, six years old, three years old, and one. And I am the wife behind Redcon One. And I try to hold life together. I am home with my boys, but I also try and do some work. And there is my one superstar. And um, yeah, I'm back to kind of take you along for a ride on my life. And uh, this one, I'll start it off strong. It's my birthday tomorrow, so we are going out. And you may see some faces you recognize, you may not. So yeah, here we go. All right, we are here at the Seagate Hotel in Delray Beach. You gotta hold it higher, you can't see me. There you there. go. Now you can't see me. It's okay. Why is that weird? The thing is weird. Anyways, so I will give you a little view on what our view looks like. Not too bad. So we got the bridge right there. It's gonna be a beautiful sunset. I know. All right, we are heading out. And of course, he hurries me. And then that's that. So. 32, this is lucky number 32 for me. Is this lucky? Very lucky, look at you. You look lucky. I do look lucky. Um, usually I don't like making a big deal out of my birthdays, but this is, I feel like this is the first year that I decided far in advance to do something, right? Yeah, unusual. It is unusual. So I figured it's a nice excuse for friends to all get together and it doesn't have to be about me. Um, although Eduardo better have bought me a tiara, but other than that, just a nice excuse to hang out with friends and to party, which we never do either. Are you serious? Uh, let me show you. What? Show you. Oh, getting on the gram. <laughs> on the gram. I know, this is really bad lighting. Right here, that's it. So, um, a quick little fun fact about me and my birthdays is I've always hated the spotlight being on me. And um, did you know this? I would like cry at my birthday parties. Yeah, when I, we were a little, <laughs> little. Yeah. Too much like, attention for you. Yeah, I would like have a mental breakdown and go in a corner and cry because I hated uh, everyone being there for me. The opposite so, of our kids. Yeah, the opposite of our kids. So um, tonight I'm not going to cry. It's my goal. My goal is to not cry. Well, so let's, cry. See if, let's see if that happens. So survived the night, barely survived the day. I um, was barfing like half of the day. I just can't hang anymore. And I'm ready to bring in Monday. So fun birthday weekend. What do you get? I got a Pokemon card set. You wanna come see? Um, why am I doing the vlogs? What am I hoping to accomplish? Well, I am, first of all, in a unique situation, um, you know, being that I'm able to. Um, I feel like I have something to provide um, to, I guess, anyone to show that it is possible to not only be fit, I guess in your 30s, being that I just turned 32, you know, people say, using age as an excuse. Um, I'm in my 30s and I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm not 
at all a genetic like freak type person where I was born with abs and born to just look and feel a certain way. Um, I have to work for it. And I am also a mom. I'm not just a mom of one or two, but I'm a mom of three young boys. And um, I don't use that as an excuse. I'm not a big fan of the victim mentality. Um, I have a lot of experience in kind of, I don't know, mental training or I guess the power of changing your mentality and your outlook. And I'll talk about that other times, what my experience is. But for now, um, I am here to basically show you my life behind the scenes of being, I guess, Mrs. Redcon one and a mom. And although I don't consider myself a, a working mom, I don't know if I'm a stay at home mom. I'm a very hands on mom and I enjoy being hands on with my kids because my kids are my world. Um, and so I absolutely do not let fitness be priority over them. I'm a mom first and foremost and a wife and fitness is part of my life and my kids see that so they know how to do push-ups and squats and protein is part of every meal and what your healthy carbs are and even healthy fats so um you know it's setting an example and i'm also not a glamorous type fitness person i'm not going to bring you a ton of fancy home workouts i'm not a gourmet chef i'm not someone who's very creative with my eating. I eat the same thing basically every day. Um, I go into the gym, I train hard, I lift weights, and I do my cardio when I want to drop a few extra pounds, and I'm consistent. And that is what this all ultimately comes down to, is consistency. Um, it's very easy to get overwhelmed with all the messages out there and all the different ways of working out and all the different ways of eating and all the diets and this and that and ultimately what it comes down to is consistency. I stopped dieting in June because I had reached a personal goal to do a photo shoot for our company for some marketing and um, I haven't dieted since and I haven't wanted to. I wanted to just enjoy life and continue living this life um, because that's my lifestyle and not because I'm trying to shoot for a goal. But it is okay also to need a goal every now and then because mentally we get a little tired of doing the same thing day in and day out. Um, that's why people who have a very repetitive day-to-day -day life feel either burnt out or they're unhappy. They just don't do anything to kind of recharge their brain. And I believe that we all do need a recharge. So um, my days while they do vary in what I'm doing, they are pretty repetitive because it's, you know, wake up early with the kids, get everyone ready for school, get one off to school, take the other one to school, um, do something with the baby, go to the gym, the rest of the day I'm with the kids. And that really is, I really am a mom first and foremost. And that is what my message is and what I want you guys to see is that it's all about the daily choices and it's possible. Um, you just have to make the decision in your mind that you're gonna do it. I'm not here to solve everyone's uh, problems and give solutions to every excuse because there's about a billion excuses you can make, but I'm here to show you what kind of choices you can make and it really is up to you to figure it out and to find a way to make things happen. Um, because that's ultimately what it is. You can blame everyone else and everything else in the world for not getting what you want, but it ultimately comes down to your choice. And I am a firm, firm believer on that. So um, follow along and I hope that if you have any feedback or comments or questions, please reach out to me and enjoy the vlogs. Engage now, come on. Come on. Keep driving. Good girl, come on. Keep driving.
Push. Good, Dari. Come on. Good rest, pause. Make good reps now. Let's go. And again. Good. And again. Power. Rest, pause. Good girl. Last phase. Let's go. Drive. And I'm up. And one. Good girl. Good set. 